Hi, I'm Bethany Levesque and I'm a museum shop associate at the Wadsworth Athenaeum. And during this quarantine to stay creative and connected to the museum, I've actually been making one minute art history videos. I started a series of videos on social media before quarantine and it's continued throughout quarantine and actually expanded quite a bit. But basically I take an artwork or an artist or an art period and I go in and I dive into it for about a minute long for a video and then I share it with others on social media and they get to interact and discuss the artwork um, including artworks that relate back to the Wadsworth Felix Gonzalez Torres's Perfect Lovers so the two clocks that you might be very familiar with as well as Francois Boucher's The Egg Seller which is also at the Wadsworth it's been a really good way to connect back to work and continue feeling like I am involved in the art history community while also giving me a little bit of sanity and something to look forward to while I'm home. One minute art history lesson. And today's guest is Felix Gonzalez Torres and his 1991 piece, Perfect Lovers. This artwork, and yes, it is an artwork, consists of two battery operated clocks placed side by side on a wall. While these two clocks were started at the exact same time, you can see here that they are out of sync. Eventually, as the battery wears down, one of the clocks will inevitably start ticking slower. And eventually, one of them will stop. These two clocks were meant to be a reflection of a relationship between two people. That could be a family relationship, a romantic relationship, a friend relationship. But as you go on throughout the course of a relationship, you might start in the same spot. However, eventually one will start to grow apart, or someone will pass away and eventually the clocks will no longer be ticking at the same pace. This was really relevant to Torres as his lover at the time was dying of AIDS. But I think he says it the best. He said, time is something that scares me or used to. This piece I made with the two clocks was the scariest thing I've ever done. I wanted to face it. 